Hi, this is Rishali and you are watching Rishraj Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to do one interesting experiment, one interesting activity. At the end of this activity, I will tell you why did we do this activity. So first, straight away, let's start with this activity. So to perform this activity, the things which I require here is a transparent glass, water, few stones, you can take any stones from your garden and here is salt, okay. So first what I will do, here on this glass I have made one marking, okay, I have marked here. So up to this marking I will fill water in this glass. So here I have taken water in this glass and I have filled this glass up to this black mark. All of you can see this black mark here. I have filled the water only up to this mark. So first what I will do, I will add few stones here in this glass. So when we add here few stones in this glass, we can see the rise in the water level because we know that matter occupies space. So when we put stones in the glass, some space in this water is occupied and so the water level rises. This same technique was used by the thirsty crow. Hope all of you remember that. Okay, so what we conclude here, when we add anything in the water, we expect that there should be the rise in the water level. Okay, now we will add something else. I will remove these stones from this water first. Now I have removed the stones from this water. I will add two spoons of salt in this now. The common salt which we use in our food. Now even salt is one matter. We are adding in this water. I will dissolve this salt in this water. The salt is completely dissolved in this water. Okay, I added some salt and I dissolved in this water. Now what is actually expected that when we add any matter in this water, we expect the rise in the water level. But when we dissolve this salt in this water, we don't find rise in this water level. Why? What is the reason for this? So when we add any matter here in this water like salt, why there is no rise in the water level. Here, this salt, okay, the salt is formed by the combination of two ions that is sodium and chlorine. So when we uh, put this salt in this water, this sodium chloride, okay, sodium chloride, which is the scientific name of this common salt, it dissolves in this water. Dissolves means what? Dissolves means this NaCl, it dissociates into its constituent ions that is Na and Cl. It dissociates and these ions, they occupy the space between the molecules of the water. The intramolecular space. Yes, because between the molecules of this water, there is a small space which is called as intramolecular space. So such substances which dissolves, okay, dissolves means they dissociate and those small particles they occupy the intramolecular space of this solvent. So this is the reason why there is no rise in the water level when we add salt in the water. So how was this activity? It was quite interesting, isn't it? Science is full of such amazing facts. We have many interesting activities in science subject. So, in our upcoming videos, we will come with few more interesting activities. So for that, be in touch, subscribe our channel to get the regular updates of such interesting videos. And thank you so much for watching this video.